Um, as you may or may not know, April is the day that we celebrate Arbor Day, the holiday dedicated to the beauty of, and um, maintenance of trees. And the city, excuse me. Let's see if it'll let me do this. Um, it's going to be celebrated April 30th this year. And we've got some fun celebrations going on in the city. So let me go ahead and post that link in the chat here. Just so in case you get really, um, you know, get some leafy excitement here, um, you can go and check out the festivities later. This will be our photo round. So let, without further ado, we're going to name those famous trees. Yay. All right, so go ahead. We've got 10 famous trees, um, some from the world that we inhabit, some from worlds of fiction on film or on the page. And we'll give you a few minutes to go ahead and look at look these over and name as many as you can. Now, I didn't get a whole lot in this round either, but I had fun with this round. I actually liked it. I just like, oh, I know that one. Where is it from again? Yes, I, I found that when I was, some of the, some of the real life trees um, are difficult to photograph recognizably because you just can't get close enough to them to make the scale work while still making them identifiable because at some point people just look up and it's like, whoa, really big tree. Yes. Uh, but hopefully some of the fictional ones will be a little bit easier. And when you guys get close to feeling like you're done, go ahead and kind of indicate that in the chat so we can get an idea of when we can move on to the answers. Don't worry, we won't do it with the first person who's done. <laughs> no, no. Like a lot of people get done. I have a lot of tree puns too, Christina. <laughs> oh, but I'm just pining for them. Hit me. <laughs> well, some of them aren't going to be very poplar. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh. I'm just going just gonna <laughs> to weep like a willow over here. I got nothing. Bad puns. Yeah, it's okay. All right, we have one set that feels like they're as done as they're going to be. Okay, okay. So that's not yeah. going, it's going pretty well. Yeah, well, and some of these are like super hard because they're not super well known and, but they are really cool. Yes. And then I found out with some of the real life trees Sometimes there's multiple famous trees with the same name and then things get really confusing. Yes. If it makes people feel better out there, I think I only got four on this round when I did it. Some people were way better at it than I was. But I knew I'd seen the trees before. I just couldn't name them. Mm -hmm. Well, and some of these are like particularly number six. It was very difficult to get like any photos of, of six. So yes, especially and a little little thumbnail size thing so right all right we'll give you another two minutes and we'll uh, continue on got a good mix of the fictional the fantastic and just the fabulous if you desperately need more than two minutes just say so in the chat <laughs> Number five is probably my favorite. <laughs> I knew that one it, right away. Uh, 
Yes, I was surprised at uh, how difficult it was to find a film screenshot of this particular tree. And the merchandise ones seem to actually work a little bit better for our purposes. So. Um, we have a question of how many of us are playing tonight. Well, right now we have um, 11 in uh, the panelists group uh, or in the attendees, but um, actually we have seven, I think, but that doesn't account for how many people are actually there playing with them. So sometimes we ask if people will indicate how many people are actually joining the one single group. And sometimes it's good for us to know that. Um, some people have multiple people in their teams at their homes. Um, so it's always kind of hard to tell exactly how many people are, are playing. And then also this will probably be broadcast later to Facebook where people can play separately as well, so. Yes, asynchronous fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so without further ado, as long as no one else needs more time, we're going to move on to the answers for this round. And I'm not seeing any frantic messages for needing more time. So we'll, we'll just carry on. All right. So number one were the truffula trees from Dr. Seuss's The Lorax. We've got number two is the giving tree um, from the children's book. We've got number three, the tree of souls from the Avatar film, uh, the James Cameron one, not the uh, Nickelodeon cartoon one, just to clarify. We've got number four is Grandmother Willow from Disney's Pocahontas. We've got number five as the Whomping Willow destroying the flying Florida Ange Angelica, Angelica, the flying Ford yeah. something. The flying uh, car. <laughs> yes, yeah, the flying car from, from book and movie two. It's the Whomping Willow. Of Harry Potter. Of Harry Potter fame and uh, renowned. Yeah. Yeah. We've got Treebeard. Rolling out number six from the J.R.R. Tolkien Lord of the Rings series, um, as visioned by, oh my goodness, I'm blanking on his name. The director? <laughs> yes, yes. P Peter, Peter something, save me, Mary. Peter Jackson. Jackson, <laughs> thank, you. thank you. <laughs> thank you. I, I was coming up with Peter Gabriel and I was like, that's not the, even the right moment here. <laughs> Okay, so a little bit closer to home in terms of geographic reality and just general, general reality, we have number seven, the octopus tree, which can be found in Oregon. Um, it's a cool um, tourist site if you're on your way to the coast. A little bit farther away, we've got number eight, which is General Sherman, which at current evaluation and comparison is the largest volumed tree in the world. Um, and this, in fact, is one that's very difficult to uh, photograph because this tree is huge and it's surrounded by huge other trees. And so you don't really get a scope of the scale, but about six or seven people can spread their arms out at the base of this tree and just cover the front of it. Um, so number nine, if anyone got this, my hat is off to you because it's a very nondescript looking sort of palm. Um, but this is one of the many trees called Methuselah. And the one reason that this one was called Methuselah is because this was a tree that was generated from seeds that were found in a um, historic dig site that was very old. I want to say about somewhere close to 2000 years old. And the fact that it germinated after being in storage for that long was pretty amazing. I could be off by a couple centuries on that. Um, there is also a, a tree named Methuselah that is thought to be the oldest tree, living tree still um, with us, that is a bristle cone uh, that is found somewhere in the U.S., but its exact location or what it even looks like is not, not uh, spread amongst um, the Forest Service because it's such a sensitive site. And bringing us back to the realm of the fantastic is number 10, Groot from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yay. franchise. <laughs> How did we do with this one, folks? Yes, let's see some scores on this one. I'm curious. No scores are popping up yet. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Six, Ooh, seven. All okay. right. Doing better. All right. So we're tree people, not cheese people. I, I get that. I respect that. 